Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about how we can solve this question in Python. So the question is that we have given one list. You know, you can see that it has like 30 student, 5 student, 7 student, right? And here the uh, the question is that create a new list with only numerical values from each element without using loop. So actually we should not use any loop out of it. Okay, so let's see how we can solve this problem. So first I will solve via loop only so that you will understand who is who are very new to this Python or programming language, right? So they can understand easily. Then I will tell you how we can avoid loop also. Okay, so what I can write over here, it's very simple process. This is one list, right? Here, okay, leave it. I'll go via this way for i in lst, okay? then what i will do i will write here i dot split okay i dot split now you can see this is of one iterator zeroth index this is one index this is second index so i what i can do i dot split i can do and it is you know uh, i mean it is uh, combined with space right so what i can do i am splitting with space and what I am saying to uh, to uh, to this language that hey return me zeroth index. So if I you know split this with a space, then this will this will become a zero index. This will become a first index. Okay. So I can write like this, and I will. Okay. Let me just print l and later on i will uh, make it more now you can see this returns you know as a string i need to convert this into a integer so i can call int method okay now maybe you could not understand this so let me elaborate it so if you are very beginner then you can understand this way see uh, what i what i have done i have done something like this right a split right so let me comment this and let me do this now you can see see this is first index this is second index this is first and i mean this is zero this is one this is zero index this is one index index right that's why i was writing here zero so if i'm writing here zero then i will get this zero wala index value if i uh so, sorry if i make it here one then i will get the student student okay now this is the noob way now i will tell you how you can write in a pro way so pro way means what mm, i can use lambda as functions okay so see i'll just write here l a b lambda iterator what i am doing with iterator i am doing splitting see you can give any name let's say i can also give here l I can also give here i anything but make sure whatever i data i have you know made it i need to use the same i data here also it is done now need to convert this into integer that is done now i have to convert i have to call this lambda function uh, sorry map function right so map function what i will do i will call this lst list okay so what it is saying it it will map it and it then it will iterate one by one and here i can call i i will store the value into this l now if i just print l then it returns an object okay so i have to convert this to the list now you can see i'll have the same output here the question actually see we we assume that on the first index only we need to get it like we need to get only the first index it like even though uh, the the question written over here that uh, with only numerical value so this can also be the case that you know we receive like this so we have to find out all the numeric value right this also can be the problem but this problem i have solved taking this assumption that we will have we will have the numeric value at the starting point only then only we have to extract it 
ओके आई होप दैट यू आर क्लियर विद दिस एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस यू आर वेरी बिगनर इफ यू आर वेरी बिगनर इन पाइथन देन आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ लॉ आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ कोर्स ऑन माई वेबसाइट गी कोडस डॉट को डॉट इन हेयर यू कैन सी आई हैव लॉन्च दिस मास्टर इन पाइथन विद डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड एनोलोगम कोर्स हेयर यू कैन सी आई हैव एक्चुअली हेयर यू कैन सी वी कवर्ड everything you know everything of python like you know how we can install the python then you can see just a minute let me hmm now you can see we have also covered the basic of python like you know uh, what is variable what is flow control built in data structure functions oops concept strings doc string exception handling then file handling also and there is one quiz apart from this what we have covered also we have covered a data structure and algorithm parts also like what is sorting what is how we can create a stack queue and all other stuff apart from this we have also uh, you know we are also solving some uh, questions like around 15 to 16 question i am going to solve i i i i create the videos and there i will tell you that how we can solve these problems you know with some some uh, some uh, uh, approaches like you know first we will go with the noob approach then more optimization then in the third approach we will we will we will we will do we will solve the problem with with the highest optimization way okay like you can see that i have covered till three questions but you know moving forward we will be covering more questions and then this is the real time scenario framework in data engineering like you know how to pull the data from apis and how we can write up production code in our python language in 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 terms of data engineering so we will also cover that part also cool and this is the certificate you will be getting after after completing the course and she is the creator who created this course and she is i mean you can see like uh, she comes under like uh, uh, under 10% top 10% in the lead code platform and three star coder in code chef so uh, yeah this is the course and already 57 learners have on have already enrolled in this course and Uh, and then it is in english language like it is not a in hindi language right but this is a paid course so you can uh you can go to this website and even though i will give you the link in the description so that you can explore it and if you wish then you can take this course till then thank you bye bye